while you were getting out of date, I got to ask, did you have your eyes on her? <laughs> Uh, I was dating her friend. Oh! <laughs> oh! oh! Connor! <laughs> Juicy content right there, then. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa! Yo, what's going on, fam? It's your boy, Anthony O'Neill. And welcome back to the table. You guys already know this. We have a real, relatable end. I was not ready, dude. Let's do that one more time. <laughs> All right, let's do it again. Yo, what's going on, fam? It's your boy, Anthony O'Neill. And you guys already know, here at the table, we have a real, relatable, and relevant conversation here every Monday at 8 a.m. Central Standard Time. And today, I'm so pumped uh, because I had the opportunity to do a video with a sharp, young uh, brother from another mother. <laughs> <laughs> um, this, this guy's story is absolutely amazing. I invited my boy, Austin, uh, to come in from Kentucky. He drove all the way down just to sit down and have have a conversation with me at the table. Man, what's going on, man? I'm just having fun. How many tattoos you have? I just have, like, a whole arm of tattoos. So, just, so it's just that. Just that left arm? Yeah. Should I get a tattoo, y'all? I want to ask y'all that question right now. Should I get a tattoo? <laughs> Put the comments below. Be real, for real. If you get one, you're going to end up getting... Several? Yeah. Bro, that's why you just go with the fake tattoos. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, no shame in my game. You know? Oh, that's funny. I'm actually pretty proud. The first one I got was in Israel. Israel. Wow. And that was unplanned, and then I literally filled the rest of the arm in, like, a couple months. Oh, wow. You got a tattoo where Jesus Christ walked. That's pretty dope. It was pretty awesome. Yeah, that's pretty dope. Yeah. <laughs> so, Austin, I asked you to come in, man, because a, a few weeks ago, we had the opportunity to sit down with another organization and talk about your story. Mm -hmm. uh, you paid off a lot of money. Uh, specifically around student loans. Yeah, I, I want to dive into that story, and I want to go deeper. I, I want to keep it one hundred here. Yeah, what was your total amount of debt that you paid off? Eighty four thousand, and the majority of that was student loans. It was all student loans. So you yeah, didn't, you didn't have a car. You didn't have any credit cards. Nope, just student loans. How old are you right now? Twenty eight. Twenty eight years old. <laughs> Why did you have eighty four thousand dollars in student loans? College is expensive. <laughs> it is. It yeah, is. I think I borrowed. It was ended up being around twelve thousand dollars a year, okay. and it was in a five year program. I'm not the greatest at math, somewhere yeah. around sixty thousand, and then deferred those payments. Uh, I think at least for a year after graduating. Okay, and a lot of that was accruing interest while I was still in school. Yeah, and when I first started paying on it, it was eighty four thousand. About a um, year or a year and a half after graduating, eighty four grand a year after graduating. Yeah. And so you say it's a five-year program. You took out twelve, and so ten times five is fifty. So yeah, you graduated with right around sixty, sixty-two thousand. So that means close to twenty grand was was interest. It was yeah, it was a lot. Let's go back to when you were in high school, bro. Mm -hmm. You know, you're in high school about to go off to college, and you're signing for these student loan papers. Did you know what you were signing? No, I did not. Absolutely not. So what was going through your head? It was like, what, just go ahead and do this it and was, you'll go to school? Yeah, it was the only option. It was like, the school's not going to be funded for you. You don't have the money to pay for it. Okay. You're going to go to school and somebody else is going to pay for it. And then you're going to pay for it later. It was just, that, That's the process. What did you go to school for? <laughs> Landscape architecture. What do you do now? Uh, photography. So you're not using your degree? Nope. Five-year degree, specialty major... Not and, using it. And spent 84 grand, which 20 of that includes interest, yep. and you're not using it at all. That's correct. Yeah. Why? Well, it's really unfortunate to get to, like, your fifth year of college and kind of figure out that's not really what you want to do. Yeah. yeah. And so at that point, you kind of got to stick it out. I mean, the goal was to use the degree. Yeah. But you learn a lot about yourself during four years, and then you're expected to be the same person you were when you started college yeah. or when you were in high school. And that's just not, that's just not life. It's not the reality. Yeah. And so uh, I did what I had to do to get that out of the way as fast as possible. And then I can pursue what, you know, you my really heart was in. Yeah. So let's talk about that. How long did it take you to pay off the 84000 Two and a half years. All right. So let's talk about the two and a half years. What was the hardest thing during those two and a half years to pay off the student loans? Two things kind of stick out. I was— Really fortunate to make money that allowed me to really just chuck a lot of big, um, big amounts at the debt. So with that kind of came, I was in my mid-20s making decent money and not really spending any of it. So not 
buying a house, um, like not using the money that I was making to kind of like enjoy mm. um, where where I was at with that type of income. The second thing was just continuing to do it. So you're fronting all this money out. I think I told you last time we talked, like the halfway point was really rewarding, but also was like, it's almost like you had to start over because I had handed over $40,000 yeah. with nothing to show for it. You and I both know there was right. a lot internally to show for that. Yeah, yeah. But then you still got 40 left, and that <sighs> that was pretty tough. Yeah, that's that has to be tough. I mean, you know, the average person today, it takes them 20, 20 years minimum to pay off their student loans. You paid yours within about three, four years after graduating. Like, why did you say, you know what, I, I don't want these student loans anymore? Well, one, I've never done anything longer than five years of my life. So I can't imagine paying loans for <laughs> that either. Like, if I can't hold a job for five years, then I can't be paying loans for longer than that. Okay. There's just so much life, like, later on. Yeah. That if you don't tackle this now, you're going to constantly be delaying other parts about your life. And if I'm going to live 60 more years, I can sacrifice two, two and a half, three years now to better 60 years. Ooh. Man, you just said something, man. I, I hope y'all hear what he just said. This man said, if I have 60 years, 62 years left to live, um, I can sacrifice two of those to enjoy the next 60. Yeah. Rather than spending the next 40 years struggling and you only get to enjoy 20 of them, you said, I'll sacrifice two so I can enjoy the rest of my life. Right. How much were you making? I started at 75, okay. and by the time I finished, I was at 117. 117. So yeah. I started for 75000 $84,000 in debt, ended with 117. Uh, was your lifestyle any different throughout that journey? Like, were you eating uh, apples and oranges? Were you driving a nice car? Fortunately, I had a car provided from work, which was huge. Like, okay. I mean, that was just amazing. Yeah. I think the only lifestyle change was that I went from living with a roommate to living on my own. Okay. So my rent at one point was around $400, and then it moved to 790 So that was, an I increase. guess, probably an increase in lifestyle. Okay. But everything else looked the same. Yeah. 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 When you hit that middle mark, I, I, I want to I I go here because— <sighs> You was working a job that, did you enjoy it? So that's, a, I did enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> Last time we bantered about that, and you were like, you got to let me know if you hated it. I'm serious. And I didn't hate it. I okay. really did enjoy it, but it's not what I had my eyes on. It wasn't, it wasn't the goal. It wasn't the dream. And I was really fortunate. I had a job that, that paid well. Yeah. And Dave would be proud because, and you know, where I was working, I had, a really strong community of people who are also all trying to pay, pay off, off debt. debt. And so I connected. I had, you know, my work life faith mentor yeah. um, when I was working at that company was paying off his house at the same time. Wow. And then we had another guy, and they both have, um, this other guy have paid off their houses in the same amount of time by the time I, I paid off my loans. So the three of us are constantly like sending each other messages. And that's, that's within one company. We all work in different states and— so I, I had a great community there. I yeah. enjoyed it. Yeah. But it doesn't replace being your own boss. <laughs> so would you say your community of friends, believers, mentors played a huge role in you actually getting through that middle hump? Oh, yeah. To get, to get that extra 40K knocked out? Oh, yeah. And the thing is, it's, it's accountability as well. Because I could have gotten halfway, and I could have easily spent ten to 15000 on something. I don't yeah. know what it was. And yeah. nobody— may know about it, but they know. They know, and they knew my timeline. My timeline was always, from the beginning, was two and a half years. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and, and it ended up being exactly two and a half years. And it, it kind of fluctuated. Some months I paid off 900, and some months I paid off 6,000. Like, so yeah. it kind of paid out, but community was— Was key. Huge. That Man, y'all, yeah. man, if you just not tuned into the show, you're here at the table— and I'm having a conversation with uh, a young man I just met, sharp young man, Austin, who paid off $84,000 in a matter of two and a half years, uh, determined uh, to change his life because he wanted to enjoy the next 60 plus years that I believe God is going to give him. I'm praying that God give you 100, man. You and I both, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you're just not tuned in, I want you to hit that subscribe button. I mean, let me know how how much student loans do you have? You know, what's what's your debt right now? Do you have thirty thousand, fifty thousand dollars in student loans? Uh, because I really want to help you get out of those student loans the same way, the same way Austin did. And so, man, that, that's amazing. 
Uh, also, let's go a little bit deeper. Okay. You paid off eighty four thousand. When you look back at it now, today you're debt free. You know you're still in your twenties. Was the last two and a half years worth it today? Everything that I do now and I'm going to do in the future, I would have never done had I not paid it off. So, I mean, my day-to-day life is changed. And it took probably about three to six months after I paid off the debt to kind of feel the difference. Yeah. That, that you know, just that everyday difference. Yeah. But, yeah, I would do it all day, any day, again, to have what I have now, which is nothing extravagant. Yeah. <laughs> you asked me yeah. what my income was now, and it I left 117 thousand dollar job started my own business i was running it while doing that but it was nowhere you know what and what, what is your full-time business now a photographer full-time yeah full-time so you're photography. full-time you're a you're an owner you own your thing yeah so i got um i do like weddings and elopements okay i have a real estate media company it's just me but it's yeah. a full service media for real estate and okay. then i also own a studio and opened up a studio So, like, everything that I do is drastically different, but it's always because three years ago, four years ago, I knew that that was the potential. And you just got to (laughs) dream. So, if I'm understanding this correctly, because I really want to make sure that people are hearing this, you say, you know what? I have a vision, and one day I want to be in photography. Um, I want to own my own studio. Um, I want to have this. I want to do that. And it's good. this is the journey. I have to spend the next three years doing this so I can get there. And you're not even 30 years old yet, and it seems like you've already accomplished a lot of what you're seeking out for. Mm-hmm. And you're saying that if you would have still been in debt, you would not be here today. It was the only thing holding me back. The debt was the only, only thing, thing holding you back. Yes. <laughs> debt was the only... Debt was in between you and your dreams. And you said, forget debt. Now I have the luxury to not worry about... Because if you have already spent the money... Yeah. When you're making money, it's already been spent. Yeah. Now I have the luxury to make money and it hasn't been spent yet. Yeah. So I get to decide what it... You know, I get to decide where oh, the money's man. going. And if I want... Man to reinvest in my business or if I want to take my fiancé to dinner. Fiancé? Yeah. Wait, you got a fiancé? Of course. Were y'all dating when you was in debt? We were not. We started dating maybe a few months after I paid off, which was sweet because we had known each other while I was in the process. Uh Uh-huh. And so it was kind of sweet because she kind of got to help celebrate because she was. we started dating at the tail end. Did she want to date you with your debt? Do you smile? Is she here? I'm going to ask her that. Is she here? She, she is. Come here. Come here. Connor, let her come in. Yeah, let her come in. I, pull up a table. Uh, not table. <laughs> pull up a mic. I, I want to, yes, have a seat. I got to ask her this question. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Uh, welcome to the show. Hello. I know I know, I know. know this is probably shocking. Yeah, put, the, put that on. Uh, uh, tell the people your name. My name is Jenna. Jenna. How old are you, Jenna? I'm 22. You're 22? You engaged to this guy? <laughs> yes, I am. Oh, How old are you again? 28. Oh, that boy, that boy, that boy, that boy, that boy, what I'm talking about. So, 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 I got to ask you this, Jenna. Honestly, would you have dated Austin if he was still in debt? Um, so, I can hear you, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> so, it, it, it breaks down to, like, yes or, or no. If he had been as motivated as he was to pay off the debt, then I would have seen that and known that his work ethic would get him there, and I would have been totally comfortable dating him when he had debt, knowing that his goal was to pay it off. Okay. If he had been— like, yeah, I have $84,000 in debt. I may get paid off. Maybe won't. I, I probably would what not. Happened? It would have been, because it would have spoken more about um, who he was okay. and his work ethic. And I just know that's not who he is. So, yeah. but yeah, if he hadn't been motivated, I would have had a really uh, hard time uh, doing uh, that. <laughs> so how much debt do you have right now, Jenna? I don't have any. So, well, say what? <laughs> I don't have any. Okay, now you, you do understand debt. <laughs> means, you know, student loans. Do you right. have any student loans? I do not. Okay. I actually didn't go to college. You didn't go to college? No. Now, this is interesting. <laughs> so, I, when I graduated high school, or I guess my senior year, I, my parents were 
are really awesome and um, didn't let me, they let me know that there were multiple options, that it wasn't just college. Um, uh, I like and your mama and daddy. Yeah, yeah they're, <laughs> yes. they're really awesome. And they just told me, like, whatever piece fits for your next life, wherever the Lord is guiding you, like, that's where we want you to go. And I actually did. I loved school. I um, did really well and really liked it, and mm-hmm. I wanted to go to college. I actually had a career path in my mind that I wanted to do. I just applied to a couple colleges um, my senior year of high school. But at that point, I was paying for um, all of my applications fees and just everything. And um, it, the piece just didn't feel like it fit. I didn't feel like it, that was a 100% no. Um, I held on to it for a little bit longer, but just there was a breaking point And yeah. I was like, this doesn't feel right. Um, I really don't think I can handle ha- going into debt. That was a huge burden on me before I even had it. Wow. And I just decided that I would— um, not defer loans, but defer college for a little bit. <laughs> you know what? Like that. You know how rare. Don't defer loans, but I, I'm gonna defer college. <laughs> I feel like it's really rare to feel the burden of debt before you're in debt. Absolutely. I don't know that I've heard anybody. I've say never that. heard. No, <laughs> break that down. When you say feel the burden, like where you kind of like, I don't, I don't want this. Like this, I'm scared of this. I mean, is that? Yeah. Am I correct? Um, my parents were not in the position at the time to pay for anything in college, and I had been working since I was 16, had some savings, but okay. I'm pretty independent, so I was, I was doing all of it. I was actually signing up for orientation um, for the college that I thought that I wanted to go to, or I guess it was like my last option um, and was signing up for orientation and there was an orientation fee. I was sitting in my living room and just, I looked at that orientation fee. I think it was like $50. And, um, and I was just like, I've, and then all the numbers that I had already paid for all the things leading up to that moment. And then that, and then knowing that there were so much more to come in it, I, I just knew that I didn't want that lifestyle. I knew I didn't know how I was going to pay it off. So, yeah. And there's nothing wrong with that. I believe that the key thing that your parents did was to say, Hey, here are all the options. Yeah. And yeah. you choose the best one for you. Mm-hmm. You know, you can go to college. That's a great option. You cannot go to college. Okay, let's have a conversation. What are you going to do with your life? Yeah. You know, how are you going to be productive? How are you going to make a living? How are you going to do something? Or you can go to the military or you can go to trade school. There, I, I so wish more parents, more loved ones, more teachers, more schools would teach everyone all the options. You know, um, it bothers me that our schools are only teaching credit scores, but not teaching cash is king. And so I commend your parents for that. If Parents, mom and dad, if y'all watching right now, I love y'all. And I don't even know y'all, but I love y'all. Because this is, this is solid. Because now you guys are walking into a marriage and no debt, mm. no stress. And we know that the number one reason why marriages are getting divorced um, are because of money. So y'all are going to argue, but it won't be about money. Right. You know, and, and that's, <laughs> that's, that's so refreshing. So I got to ask, because y'all getting married, how much y'all spending on a wedding? Um, Roughly, I think it'll be around seven. Yeah. Seven what? Seven thousand. Oh, okay. I was about to say. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, think, I think when it's all said and done, it'll be about that. Yeah. Seven grand? That's not bad. When the no. average the average wedding in America is in between twenty and $25,000 right that now. That sounds awful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Ridiculous. Yeah, sounds, you know what I'm saying? That sounds awful. Like, wow. Yeah, we decided to elope. And, elope, okay. Yeah, and, so, and, and have a small ceremony, but... Yeah, that was part of the reason we were like, we cannot imagine spending that much on a wedding just even for the sandwich. It just doesn't feel right. So we just, yeah. Wow, wow. So seven. Smart, debt-free, spending seven grand on a wedding. Does that include y'all's honeymoon? Are y'all traveling with the uh, whole COVID thing going on right now? We have plans to travel. Okay. Uh, We're getting married in like five weeks. Okay. And hopefully that it settles down. But we're also really content like walking around and not— Talking to anybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, like, so, yeah. um, we're thinking we might go out west, uh, okay. kind of to like a beach town, San Francisco area. <sighs> Man, listen. But we're about to just walk around town for seven days <laughs> and we'll be okay. on fire. Dude, you just got married. You ain't nobody else in your business right now anyway. Yeah. <laughs> hey, leave me alone. What have you? Just got married. <laughs> leave, leave me alone. For the people watching right now, for a young couple, you've never touched debt. You've touched debt and you got out of debt. 
What are two things you can tell someone in their 20s, someone in their 30s right now watching, and you just want to inspire them? Communication, which yeah. I know everybody says, but a lot of people our age struggle communicating anyways. Oh. And so if they're going to try to communicate about a topic such as money, especially if they're not familiar and they're trying to join somebody else's life yeah. as one, um, if you're not on the same page about that, it's going to cause some friction. Yeah, There's a lot of things that it's already tough joining two people's lives. It's beautiful, but yeah. it's tough. Yeah. And so if you're not on the same page about money, it's just going to add that friction. But you can talk through it. Yeah. You can have different opinions. You just got to talk through it. Talk through it. <laughs> At what point did you all start communicating about finances in y'all's relationship? Yeah. I think, well, so like he said, we knew each other for a couple of years and I knew him all throughout his process of going out, getting out of debt. Okay. And then we started dating maybe the month after he oh, was debt free. So she waited. Was that she internal? waited. She <laughs> waited. Was that, I was about to say, cause wait, so she was smart. She, she didn't, she, that didn't happen. Wow. <laughs> when you, when you said I'm debt free, she was like, Ooh, <laughs> You're like, what, was that like a, was he, that was, like he a, was a four and now he's a five. five. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. I see. I see you. Okay, girl. She was like, he dead free. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I love it. So go ahead, finish. I'm sorry. Uh, no, no, you're fine. Um, but because of that, it was always, I mean, it was always a topic of conversation. Not like, I mean, we didn't dive too deep into it, but we were always knew that we were on the same page from the beginning, I would say. Yeah. Um, and so we always knew where we wanted to head with it if we ended up having a future together. And we so we were always pretty open about it. Um, and we're totally okay with going against the norm. And so it, we just figured if, like, if we need to live um, like a modest lifestyle mm. from others' eyes, it would feel really good to us um, yeah. to stay out of debt. Communication and be okay with living in a modest lifestyle. Mm. I like that because who cares what other people think about you, yeah. you know? Who, Preach. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I don't pay y'all's bills, so <laughs> my opinion doesn't matter. Y'all don't pay my bills, so y'all's opinion doesn't matter. But when you're in a good, healthy community, their opinion matters because they're giving you the right stuff to do for your life. Mm -hmm. And I think that's why y'all going to be successful, man. This is, man, I'm rooting for y'all. I'm, I'm excited. Um, married, young, and debt-free. I remember being a little kid, and uh, my mom got married to my stepfather. They didn't have a ring. You know, they didn't have a wedding. They eloped, went to the south of the border, and never had a honeymoon. Never been out of the country. And one thing I, I kept hearing my mom say was back then, they just had love and not a lot of money. But love don't pay bills. <laughs> and having no money brings stress into the relationship. And so, man, I, I just, I, I want to root, uh, not root, <laughs> I want to just encourage you to just to continue growing closer. Mm. And I, I'm rooting for your future. I, I'm, I'm so pumped that. for <laughs> what you've done. Um, you took the initiative. And what's so funny is, while you while you were getting out of debt, I gotta ask, did you have your eyes on her? <laughs> uh, I was dating her friend. Oh, <laughs> oh, Connor! Juicy content, right? Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa! We didn't There's get... the intro. Wait a minute. <laughs> There's Wait. one question you're not supposed to ask. Wait a minute. Hey, to be honest, my roommate stole me away from my girlfriend, so I made my roommate. New girl oh. situation. So I'm right with you. Oh. It says, don't take relationship advice from us. <laughs> no, no, no. Wait, no. wait, wait, wait. So while you were getting out of debt, you were dating her friend? Yeah. <laughs> Is your friend okay now? Oh, she's married. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, so we're good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That's the intro. <laughs> that's the intro to this show. <laughs> so when you got out of debt, that's when you were interested in her? Or was it towards the end of you paying off your debt? Mm -hmm, towards the end, for sure. Uh, and when did you realize you kind of liked him a little bit? Um, It was a... It was around the same time. Okay. We, I think there was like a mutual interest. Around, around, yeah. around the same time. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Well, I tried that one time. And I got in trouble. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say, y'all. Don't get me started here on the show. Don't get me, on trouble. get me in trouble for real. Lord have mercy. <laughs> y'all, um, man, thank you all so much. So yeah. to end the show, 
we normally end it with a fun segment, okay? Okay. Um, our producer, Connor, comes up with a question, would you weather? You got to choose one, okay? You can't choose both. You can't make any changes to it. You got to choose one. Okay, we call this a saber cave. Connor? We got to answer at the same time? No. No, oh. you don't have to. But okay. you can't choose both. Okay, okay. But okay. you have to choose the right answer. Ooh. There's no right answer. <laughs> There's no right answer. So would you rather never have to work again a day in your life and you would have enough money to live a comfortable life or would you never be able to fall asleep again but you wouldn't experience the negative side effects from not sleeping? Because, you know, they say... Sign me up for that one. No Which sleeping. one? No sleeping. No sleep? <laughs> yeah. Say you sleep half your life away. Man, you or can do so many things. Or something. Don't quote me on that. Oh, man. No negative side effects? No you negative, can do like so you many things. You don't get tired things. or anything. You don't get tired. <sighs> and if you enjoy your work, you're set. That was my, <laughs> that was my answer. <laughs> well, what would you think? It's, it sounds like I'll be awake a lot longer than she will. <laughs> <laughs> He's already awake a lot longer than I am. I sleep a lot. Oh. So it's a tough one. I would probably just not work Me I too. think I really think I just want to work I and then I have time. all that time exactly and I can then just see him I now can, like yeah. wake up wake <laughs> yeah. up Connor. let's go yeah you know like like cause if, if I'm not working I got my eight hours back well, my hours are differently, but <laughs> the average person would be like, all right, if they're working eight hours a day, you sleep six to eight hours a day. So, okay, you can stay awake eight. I'm going to go to sleep for eight, but I got another eight back yeah. in my schedule because I'm not working. But what about boredom? Boredom? Who's yeah. bored? So here's the thing. So, like, I was in the military before I went to college. Mm -hmm. So when I went into college, I didn't have a job. I didn't work. No. I got to the point in my master's degree where I'm like, I can't do this anymore. I have to work. No. I was so bored. My life was, people retire all the time. They're like, I can't no. do this. I got to work until I ask, die. Hey, ask. He's <laughs> ready. No. Ask either. how many people when they retire after like one year of not working, how they feel. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, but so that's you, like you got to find a hobby. Man, I've been on my golf course yeah. every day. I'll be looking at my grandchildren. I'll be working. <laughs> I just won't be, I won't be exchanging my time for money. Right. And I feel like right. you, like you would if you had answered that you wouldn't work, you would still be doing the same exact things that you're doing today. Yeah, yes. I would. But so, so like, that's, that's, what, that's, that's where what my, like, yeah, I, I, yeah. that's where my perception comes in. And I'm like, well, I would probably just do the things that I would still be doing. All day. But I just wouldn't need the money. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, man. Uh, yo, thank you all so much for joining me on the show yeah, today, you. man. This is absolutely amazing. I'm excited for y'all's future. Uh, make sure y'all send me some pictures of the wedding. Uh, and uh, I'm going to send a wedding gift. Oh. Okay, I'm going to definitely send a wedding gift. I mean, y'all are debt free, so y'all not expecting a lot. So it'll, nah. be, <laughs> it'll be an easy gift. <laughs> Yeah. Yo, you guys, thank you all so much for watching the show today. Don't forget, every Monday right here at 8 a.m., we premiere a brand new show. Because here at the table, we have a real, relatable, and relevant conversation every single Monday. And today, we had a dope conversation. And so, uh, hey, share this. Let me know what you're thinking below, all right? It's your boy, Anthony O'Neill. I want to thank my producer, Connor, man, for rocking with your boy. He's killing it on the game right now. Like, he's just he is. killing it. You all are. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I'm I got, trying. I got some headphones and I got, you know, I, I'm, I'm happy. Did y'all see this? Yes. He did it. Yo, I'm gonna see y'all in the next video. Peace out. Alright, later.